What's up everybody, Zach here with Review Empire and I want to do a short clip about um, a question that I've been getting a good bit lately about this particular uh, Series 4 vertical smoker and the amount of smoke that comes out of it. Um, from what I understand, there are the barrel type units that put out a lot more smoke for some reason and when I first got this one, I had the same concern. I was like, why does the smoke seem thin and, and you know am I not supposed to be getting a bellow of smoke out of it and so I got to poking around online and talking to some groups on Facebook and things like that and from what I understand what you want out of this particular unit is just a thin cloud of white to light blue smoke coming out because this has a, a pretty powerful fan and it pushes that smoke through there and uses a lot more of convection to cook and so what you get is you get plenty of smoke moving across the surface of that meat because it's not sitting in there quite as much and so you end up getting a good bark a good smoke flavor without so much smoke bellowing out um, something that you will notice is I, I, I just started this up I guess about 10 minutes ago or so and what it does is it's on the lowest setting I think on some of the other units or the older units it's called the smoke setting but from what I understand, it's just the, uh, the lowest setting that you can get. So if you're wanting more smoke, as you can see, it's starting to kick out. Um, you always want to start it up with the door open and uh, let, it, let the igniter and the auger run and sort of get those pellets going. And then after that, that's where you're going to start seeing more smoke. Now also, if you are, say, cooking... Um, you know some wings or something like that you're cooking them at 225 and then you want to try to crisp that skin up right there towards the end so you bump it up to 300 or something and what's, your, what's going to happen is it's going to start really burning pellets to bump that temp up and what you're going to see is the smoke output is going to just disappear because it's going to be burning so hot and so fast that it's going to burn clean and it's not going to get as much smoke so that's going to be another time when you don't see smoke but once it gets to that 300 and it settles into that temp and just starts slowly burning pellets to maintain that temp, that's gonna be when your smoke is gonna return. So don't think anything's wrong. Um, also, I've learned that you know, you're gonna see different amounts of smoke and smoke flavor with different brands of pellets. Um, I have not personally used a wide variety of pellets just yet. I've used a lot of the Pit Boss brand, which I like, I've used um, one brand, I think I threw it away the bag, but it's from Sam's Club. I didn't. I don't think I liked it quite as much as the Pit Boss competition blend. Um, I think that what most people say is that you're going to get the best smoke and the most flavor. Um, this is just what other people have said. This isn't my personal recommendation, but a lot of people say that the Lumberjack pellets are going to put out more smoke and have more flavor. You can make that judgment on your own, but this, what this is currently sitting at is the lowest setting it's got the inside of my cabinet sitting at about 130 degrees and that'll fluctuate just a little bit here and there you know you can tell i hit it and it's set at the lowest setting so it only goes up from there we're about to cook a uh, beer can chicken here in just a little while i'm gonna make a video showing you how i do that but uh, you set it at this and it's just gonna get to that temperature it's just going to get to that temperature and then it's just going to slowly burn those pellets and you're going to see more smoke. And so that's what I've got right here. You can see the cabinet is full of smoke and it's just really pushing it out nicely. What I'll do is I'll put that, I'm going to put that chicken in here and I'm going to let that sit in that smoke for about an hour and a half. And that's going to really uh, get a lot of flavor, a lot of that smoke flavor on the outside of that chicken. And then I'll crank that temp up and get that internal temp where I want it. So. But I have, I've had a lot of questions about the amount of smoke coming out of this thing. And so I just wanted, want you to know if you're considering buying one or if you've just bought one, it doesn't mean anything's wrong with your unit. That is what you can expect. And uh, the food's going to taste great. You give it a shot, you know, I think, um, I think Lowe's is the main place where you can get these. They have a pretty liberal return policy from what I understand. If you're not happy, I think you can go back and maybe try something that, you know, if you just like the visual of the heavy smoke get you a unit that, that puts that smoke out. But uh, I can tell you, the food's gonna taste fantastic coming out of here. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, smash that like button for me. 
and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm about to start doing a whole lot more cooking videos and how-to videos, things like that, along with the review videos. So good products, good food. What's better than that? I don't know. That seems like a good life to me. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, hit the like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see y'all in the next video.